hello guys welcome to this video for today i'm going to show you how to do serverless authentication in your react.js project it means that you don't need to have a server in order to authenticate your users and limit their access to your application let me show you what it is uh, actually i just designed a form using bootstrap and then i can insert an email and then I can choose a password. Actually, it first try to find a record for master.sammaster.com and check. If there was no any record, it will uh, automatically uh, register my account and then log me inside the application. Otherwise, if there is any account with master and master.com and the password is the same, it will let me go in otherwise it shows me an error which says your uh, password is not correct okay let me try yeah it, it actually created a new account for me and now I have access to my application even if I uh, refresh the page it uh, keeps the, uh, the previous state and now I can uh, log out using the logout button and again I will be in the login page I also wanted to say please subscribe to my channel in order to receive a notification whenever a new episode is out there I actually make videos uh, every week uh, about front-end development react.js and these kind of stuff so if you're interested you can click on the subscribe button and, and also you can click uh, on the bell button in order to get notifications whenever a new episode is added okay here uh, i have three important files the first one which is app.js i just loaded app container another component here in this component i actually do imali logics and yeah i have one another component for the login form that you uh, was saying before and now let me show you uh, we have uh, component did mount do login do register do logout we're gonna fill them later and inside the render function let me close this and now yeah you can see i just checked if the state was loading just display a spinner otherwise first check if we had the user inside our state which is null at the first place uh, check and show the logout button to the user with the text logout and hi welcome to my application it is for the uh, when that uh, user already logged in and otherwise show the login form and we just pass to uh, props to the login form let me show you it's a, just a simple uh, login form and we have two inputs for username and password we have unchanged functions in order to uh, get the value of the input you can also download the source code of this project i will add the link in the description and yeah when i click on the login button it will call the do authentication and inside the do authentication i just call the prop that we pass to this component and i will pass the email and password values to the app container let me just show you with the console log do login and email and password Uh, we just need to change this loading to false and yeah okay yeah you can see the uh, username the email and the password that we inserted and here we should connect to the firebase and do the authentication part i'm also using uh, bootstrap version 5 for this project 
UI and this is very good to use. I suggest you uh, to use Bootstrap for making UIs even uh, if you are not a designer that really helps you and also I have another video about Bootstrap version 5 you can watch it from the top link to understand how uh, I usually make forms elements inside uh, every uh, web project using Bootstrap to start using Firebase, the first thing that you need to know is to install Firebase inside your terminal. You just need to run npm install Firebase. And then after you install it, we should go to the Firebase console, add a new project. Let me show you test project and then click on continue. I don't need to get analytics for it and create the project few seconds should wait okay we have our project now and then we just need to have some API keys and information to do this uh, first we need to add application inside our project I just choose web and my authentication and register the app and then you will have this section you should copy it somewhere because we're gonna use this information in our project I actually uh, save them inside another file and just need to copy and paste the values yeah and for example if you created the project and you forgot this information you just go to the setting and you can find all this information here inside your application there is a configuration inside the Firebase project we should go to the authentication section and just enable one thing you should go to the sign in method and here just enable the email password let me check yeah this was just enable this one we don't use email link so we need to enable it just the first one okay guys let's start coding and integrating firebase inside our project and do the authentication the first thing that i need is to import firebase authentication and firebase instance from the package that we installed firebase app and here inside the component did mount i should initialize my firebase first let me change it to true we probably forget it later okay uh, firebase dot initialize app is for initializing it and i just need to pass the config let's just import our config from config file and pass it to our initialize app function for the authentication process as i mentioned earlier i first uh, try to log in the user and if the user uh, didn't exist we just uh, create a new user for him in our database so let me do this here i need a try catch block you also can javascript premises but it's better to use uh, async await syntax i also have two another videos about async await and promise the difference between them which is absolutely important if you want to become a pro javascript developer you can watch them from the top link okay try and catch error 
and I need also a finally block to just change its loading value. Inside the try block, I just need to first set the state to the loading to show the loading actually is loading true. But it is true at the first place. No problem, we should keep it true. I will tell you why. Uh, await and then we should connect to the Firebase using Firebase instance dot of API and sign in with email and password. Actually, there are several ways to do the authentication. You can also have providers like uh, login with Gmail, login with Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, and so on. We just need for this tutorial, just do the simple part and custom authentication method. So here I'm going to pass the email and password to this function. And then let me close this. I don't have enough space. Okay. Uh, when we call this function, if we got any error inside the catch function, it means that the authentication was not successful. But if we went to the final section, it means that authentication is done and user already rugged in. So inside the catch block, I just want to check if the error is user not found, just register him. So to get the error, you easily can do something like this error code and error dot code and also check if error code was equal to auth slash user not found you can find these keys inside the firebase uh, documentation and we just need to register the user how just call the register the register function and pass the email and password and otherwise we just need to show an error to the user so let first get the error message using error.message and set the state for this error error message equals to yeah I don't need to specify this because both names are the same and just the console like for debugging can be beneficial for us error Oh, sorry. And now I just need inside the final block to set the loader to false is loading false because the operation is completed. Now let's go for the register part. This part is also so easy. Just add the try catch block. Let me be lazy and copy the try catch section. And here I need to set the state again. And here I just need to change this section to create user with email. And the same, we should pass email and password to this function. And if it didn't throw any error, it means that user created successfully uh, otherwise it uh, throws an error we just here need to something like console log oh why we do use a console log we should use console error it's better let me do this and inside the final section we just need to set this loading to false what else do we have do logout it's so easy again another try catch block 
set the loading to true and what was it? Ah, it was sign out. I don't need to specify any parameter for it. And yeah, that's it. We almost did every part and the error code we actually send it to the login component and we just check if it exists add a div and show the message within it i just need another part uh, actually we need an observer to uh, understand the current situation of uh, the user state for example when it changed automatically firebase says to us that this user is not logged in anymore so we should update our state to don't show the for example our application panel to the user to do this we just need to add this listener or observer i don't know what the name is firebase.authentication and on auth state changed and it will send me the user i can check if the user value was not null it means that user already logged in otherwise it means user logged out so i just need to set a state and i need the user object because for example sometimes you need to read the email address user profile name and other information from it which we don't use in this project and also set the is loading to false so it will run all the time and that's why we kept the is loading value to true because we know that when the application runs it will be run and process this section and this loading will be false okay now you can see since we haven't logged in yet uh, I see the login section yeah one two three four five six mm, I don't know what they're all oh, oh, there this error is not important because actually we uh, didn't have this user inside our database so it is the error which is made here inside this section if i remove this we won't see it because we oh yeah it's here again mnm.com one two three four five six yeah it works fine let's try with another password for example one two three yeah we got to error we have a problem let me check yeah actually i made another mistake i should just use error that message here yeah password should be at least six characters yeah it works fine thank you guys for watching this video you can also watch these videos in order to get more information